In this sample video, we will look at modeling a foundation for this building. Most detailers start with a grid, and we'll do the same. Notice the dimensions added to check our quality. In modeling applications, the grid must be accurate. Next, we will see a flat reference file has been brought in to save some time with geometry. Following that, our detailer begins creating concrete geometry. Using the Library of Concrete within Viscar and looking at the structural details, they begin to create the actual wall footings. They trace these wall footings from column footing to column footing. While still in the concrete modeling tool, the detailer begins to create the column footings required. Again, looking at structural documents for reference information and the flat reference for location. These column footings can be created quickly and easily. Notice the first column footing is placed incorrectly. All concrete can be double clicked for easy editing. For demonstration purposes, we'll now look at the completed concrete. Again, checking our quality by applying dimensions to all our concrete. In modeling applications, the concrete must be accurate. Next, we will see our detailer begin to create some reinforcing. In this instance, they choose to start with column footings. Using the library of reinforcing sections, and the structural documents for reference, reinforcing is now created in our model geometry. It should be noted that Viscar calculates the number of pieces and bar length based on the surfaces selected. In this case, because we are reinforcing column footings, the number of bars was most likely given. In a similar fashion, we see the detailer now adding wall footing reinforcing the same way they did column footings. Length, orientation, number of bars, all calculated by the surfaces selected. Again, for demonstration purposes, we will simply look around the completely reinforced model. Note at this point, the reinforcing could be reviewed and bar lists taken off. Our detailer completed this bit of reinforcing for the video in less than an hour start to finish. Finally, we will look at the drawing process. Similar to the reinforcing step described earlier, our detailer took less than an hour to complete the drawing portion of this work. First, the detailer brings in a framing plan, then begins labeling concrete. Notice our detailer is simply selecting those elements they want named and now places these tags where desired for a good presentation. A second plan is brought in at a larger scale to present the elevator pit in greater detail. Here we see a live elevation being cut and then placed. Next, a few live sections are cut in various places and also placed below. An illustrative section is placed in the drawing and then moved. The detailer selects several column footings, and a schedule of these column footings is created and placed. Finally, the sheet is created and all the plans, elevations, sections, and schedules would be arranged. Note how the scale, calculations, and CAD administrative side of detailing is greatly reduced and the detailer can concentrate on quality, constructability, and communication with the customer.